Hey, it's always good to pull out on the side of the road and take a pee. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm talking loud because I'm on the side of the highway, literally. But I'm going to show y'all why it's good to take a pee on the side of the road. You can check your straps, right? Y'all, check it out. Look at this. Where's the other one? It's another one with a rip in it, too. But as you can see, I had to put corner binders on it now. But everything else holding pretty good. You know what I mean? But y'all stay tuned, man. Delivery gonna be today. It should be like one o'clock. Yo, now we set to go. Put a brand new strap on to put the corner protectors on there. Yo, that's on me. I should have known better than that. I should have known that that crease it was gonna break. I should have known that, man. But you know, <laughs> we still here. Hey, look how dirty Riri is, bro. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Oh, look at it. Come on, Riri. You got to be better than that, Riri. Y'all, look how foggy it is. I'm going across this big bridge, right? I'm headed to Kentucky now to drop this off. They say I should be there at 1 o'clock. Two deliveries in one day, that's not bad, man. We, we out here. We out here, man. Getting it done. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all know how we do. Yes, I slept in the truck last night. Yes, it was absolutely cold. Yes, it was freezing. But sometimes you got to, you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to sacrifice. But it was no hotels near me. So I wound up sleeping in the truck. I didn't show y'all the pickup yesterday because it was super late. But... That's what we got. We got this carriage going to Kentucky and then I have to pick up another partial going seven miles in St. Louis. I made it to St. Louis late last night, like like seven, eight o'clock at night, but they weren't there. So we got to pick it up today. They're going to take up that spot going seven miles, drop that off for $200. So seven miles, $200, that's not bad. You know what I mean? But we'll see what that is when we get there. Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all, it's a gloomy morning up here, y'all. But them trucks finally start rolling. Y'all see they lights on, boy. You know what that mean? I got to hop in mine and start rolling. Come on, come on. See, this is the good part about trucking. I never seen the ballpark. Look at this. So I'm at this club in Tennessee. The buddy looking out for me. It was loose, loose, huh?
hey that being said man make sure you guys get you guys tires torqued y'all seen how loose they was and they weren't even really that loose but the thing was it had to be tightened more because by the time i would have got the floor i would have had to tighten it again so i just went ahead and tighten it while i'm just sitting here waiting y'all gotta be productive proactive and trucking because that who knows he said it would have got me to florida but the way he was tightening it i could have broke down anywhere man so after i did what 45 4500 miles got him retort you know what i mean it's that simple that simple appreciate you guys love your guys wait till the next video keep them ties bouncing man y'all so i'm here picking up pallets right going 30 miles 250 dollars what he gonna do he gonna do 10 i gotta pick up 100 of them but he gonna do 10 10 10 10 10 however long it take First ten. She's squatting, y'all. I know, but so it's only gonna be like five rows. It's only gonna be five rows. It's only gonna be five rows? Yeah. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. So I got my tools ready. I got my tools out, getting them ready, y'all see it? Um. Right now, so it's 10 of these, right? And we're gonna do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So then you think about it, that's what? Think about it, that's five times 20. That'll be 100. So I got 100 pallets going 30 miles down the street. Then hopefully we try to find a load to get me back to Florida or going towards Florida. That's the plan. Literally just got this to get my week started. Because today, Monday, I've been sitting since Friday night. So Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. What, two days and a night? So we gotta get this money going, man. So here we is, you know what I mean? Y'all stay tuned for that. Y'all gonna see me when I get back to strapping. Y'all stay tuned. Bow, bow, bow. And just like that, y'all see, she tight. I put corner protector to protect her at the top. On both sides. I'll show y'all the other side. Hey man, I appreciate y'all telling me about the binders. I got binders now, y'all seen it in the Bobcat video. I gotta get some more chain, better chains, but it's a working process, pro work in progress. Sorry about that, y'all. But y'all can see corner protectors at the top, right? I'm only going 30. She played a violin. She played a violin pretty good. Put up the rest of my tools and we're gonna hit the road, man. Y'all see it at the drop off. Y'all. And just like that, we hit the drop off. $250. That easy. She. I guess it's a metal place. Y'all, so I just met this other hot shot out of Texas. He got a 2500 right? probably like a 20 30 foot trailer and i'm talking to him chopping it up with him he's like yeah man i just had a fire guy this morning because he didn't want to work i said yeah for real and then me and him start chopping up a little bit he showed me how he set up is with the bed and stuff he made a bed out of uh i want to say pallets or not pallets sorry about that that's what i got pallets but he made the bed out of uh plywood and two by fours pretty nice setup he let me look at it and everything I'm just cleaning out the truck, waiting on the next load. As y'all can see, I'm at a metal depot. Waiting to be a lot. Still got the pallets, 100 pallets. $200. He said he headed back to Ohio. He said he'd make it there tonight. So let's see what he say. As y'all can see, I cleaned it up a little bit. Got my trash bag. Oh, got a, got a clean shirt. I'll put that on tomorrow. Y'all stay tuned, man.